Now, there are 181,000 veterans serving time in federal prisons. Tonight, some are still getting full benefits despite VA policy. One of them, the man convicted of planning to blow up an apartment building in Garden City. Our investigative reporter, Greg Miller, has spent four months looking into this. Here's what he's uncovered. Well, when a military veteran is convicted and sentenced to jail, they are supposed to see a major cut in any of the benefits they were promised. One of those convicted veterans is a man guilty of trying to kill Somali immigrants in Garden City years ago. But despite the global attention the story gained, we found evidence that he's still being paid in full while sitting in prison. And his case is far from unique. Lula Harris cannot believe how her life has changed over the last three years. We had a relationship, um, met him in March of 2006. But that relationship with her then common law husband, Curtis Allen, took a drastic turn in 2016. We're arrested for plotting a domestic terrorist attack on a housing complex in Garden City. She walked into the G&G mobile home dealership in Liberal, where Curtis worked, and what she saw inside made her panic. Explosives being cooked on the island. I questioned him and he just acted like it was no big deal. Alan, Gavin Wright, and Patrick Stein were plotting to blow up an apartment complex where Somali immigrants lived in Garden City. She called police and eventually the three were convicted. All of them were sentenced to 25 years in prison. We don't allow people to target those who may be unpopular, unfavored by, disfavored by them. But three years after she first walked into that trailer, Harris learned something else that made her panic again. That's because Curtis Allen also served in the military, both in the Marines and the Army National Guard. And she says she can prove that he is still receiving full veteran benefits. I had access to his bank account information. Here your most recent check amount for a disability. By her calculation, he's received more than $21,000 even after he was convicted. He's incarcerated. Even in prison, he could still be paid benefits, but by VA policy, the payment should be about $100 a month. Instead, he's getting more than 10 times that. $1,368.69. Harris filed this complaint with the VA, telling the agency he was in a Colorado prison, but they won't talk to her. I tried to talk to the most higher ups that I could get to in the VA, and that was almost impossible. The VA repeatedly refused our request for an on-camera interview. Anytime we asked for specifics about Curtis Allen's case, it referred us back to department policy. In a statement, a spokesperson told us it is the veteran's responsibility to notify the VA of his or her incarceration and date of release. However, because veterans do not always notify VA of their incarceration, VA has established data matching agreements with the Federal Bureau of Prisons and the Social Security Administration to help identify incarcerated VA beneficiaries. But a 2016 study says that data matching program doesn't always work. The report shows that over several years, the Veterans Benefits Association didn't adjust payments to 53% of vets incarcerated in federal facilities. The cost? $59.9 million in overpayments. On the state and local level, it was worse. $162 million, all taxpayer money. And you wonder where that money goes. I mean, where does it go? An inmate in a federal or state prison is not allowed to have that much money in their account. It, it's shameful. State Representative John Wheeler works on the Veterans and Military Committee. He's also from Garden City, so the story hits close to home. It's still in the minds of the community that somebody had come to develop such a dark soul and hatred and contempt for an entire community that is willing to blow it up. A veteran himself, he was outraged when we told him that a convicted terrorist was still getting full benefits. But I do respect that the fact that this gentleman earned his pension, but he lost it when he undertook to murder and slaughter hundreds of people. VA policy says that any veteran caught receiving full benefits would have to forfeit. But Wheeler isn't convinced the Veterans Administration is following its own rules on that either. I think that Congress and the VA and whatever we can do on a state level 
have to address this issue so this stops. He promises to bring the matter up when lawmakers return to the State House in January. By Harris's calculations, Allen will get another $3,000 before that happens. She was already a whistleblower once about that bomb plot. She's talking again now, hoping this money meant to help our heroes goes to veterans programs and homes, not to prisoners. Who can we get to stand accountable for it? Under that same policy, when someone has completed their sentence, their payments return to the full amount previously allotted. A family member told us late today they weren't aware of specifics, but that Allen had received a notice from the VA within the last month. But according to the policy, the VA sent us that should have happened last year. We sent requests to the Colorado prison to speak to Curtis Allen, but no one has responded. Greg Miller, Cake News Investigates. U.S. Senator Jerry Moran is demanding answers after a Cake News investigation uncovered the Veterans Administration is making payments to convicted criminals. Curtis Allen is still receiving full VA benefits more than a year after his conviction for trying to blow up a Somali apartment complex in Garden City. His ex-girlfriend says it adds up to more than $1,000 a month. Moran wants to know how VA policy allowed this to happen. And we have now reached out uh, as soon as we heard the story, saw the story to the VA to find out what is going on, what is their policy. An inspector general's report found millions of dollars had been spent on overpayments to convicted veterans. The agency says it completed all six of the report's recommendations to correct the matter more than two years ago, but so far has not released a review confirming any changes have actually happened.